Nice to see you all again. Thank you for inviting me to speak today. It has been an honor to speak before this conference in years past. And I am pleased to join you once again to support efforts to uphold human rights for Coptic Christians in Egypt. I am proud to represent a district where Coptic Christians have been a strong part of the diaspora community. And as many of you know, Jersey City, New Jersey, is the home of the first Coptic church in America. And I know where it is, though. <laughs> Over the years, Coptic, the Coptic community has been an important partner in New Jersey. And the repeated attacks against the community in Egypt is an urgent issue requiring greater attention from both President El Sisi and the international community. I am proud to have co-sponsored HR 673, expressing, con expressing Congress concern over the ongoing attacks against Coptic Christians in Egypt. <clears throat> I also press Secretary of State Mike Pompeo at the recent Foreign Affairs hearing on the administration's commitment to working with the Egyptian government to ensure the protection of Coptic Christians and all religious minority in Egypt. However, congressional action is not enough. It is imperative that the international community also remain engaged with Egypt and urge President El Sisi to take real action towards protecting minority groups in Egypt. Religious freedom is a core tenet of democracy and should therefore be a central, should be therefore central to U.S. foreign policy. This is why my colleagues and I on the Congressional International Religious Freedom Caucus will continue to work together to promote religious freedom in U.S. policy. As Egypt struggles to fight to secure democratic values in their society, it is crucial that Egyptians demand their institutions be inclusive of all communities in Egypt. The United States must also communicate to President al-Sisi the necessity of inclusion for, functioning and for, a, for a functioning and prosperous democracy. As a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, I will continue to work with my colleagues to fight for policies that protect religious freedoms globally. Please know that I will continue to fight for the rights of Coptic Christians, not just in Egypt, but around the world. Thank you very much for inviting me.